me a little bit about the experience in the three-point contest last year. I mean, you're going to be back to defend it, obviously. Uh, what, what was that like last year? Oh, man, it was a great experience, a uh, great honor and privilege to be a part of it, uh, to be uh, singled out as one of the best three-point shooters in this league and, you know, go up against some of the best the best three-point shooters in the game, you know, and uh, come out very successful. It was uh, amazing. Okay. Was that something you wanted to do to, to get back out there and defend it? I mean, to maybe Oh, get, yeah, get no question. Years? I mean, there's nothing better than going out there, you know, and uh, defending it, you know, uh, I mean, that's, that's the best way to, you know, uh, go out, you know, defending your title and, you know, going from there. Was that something that you sought out last year, getting in the competition? You, you thought of yourself as one of the, you know, the better three-point shooters in the league and you wanted to – because, I mean, you know, at that point you were kind of more of a role guy. Maybe people didn't know you were that good a three-point shooter. So was that something you wanted to do to kind of uh, increase I mean, your profile? It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of tough to say because, uh, I mean, last season was a, was, a, was, a, was a different season for me, you know, as far as – been uh, known as one of the best three-point shooters, been a perimeter player, and also been a role player. But you know, my role on the team was to knock down, you know, three-pointers, you know, knock down shots, and, and that's what I did throughout the first half of the season. You know, which uh, put a bullseye on my back, you know, for teams to know and focus in on me more, knowing that what I was capable of doing. Uh, how do you prepare for something like that? Because it is different than you know, catch and shoot situations. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of tough for uh, for some players, but for like for me, you know, uh, through high school. You know, and a little bit through college, I was always a set shooter, you right. know, so um, I was already in the system of already knowing how to set shoot the ball. So, you know, for me, it's not really, you know, a lot I have to really, you know, go back and, you know, start over doing. So it was just a lot easier for me than maybe a lot of other players. So I know a lot of guys say that it kind of messes with their jump shot maybe for a little while after the All-Star break. You didn't find any sort of situation like that where it affected uh, you? Not really, not really. I mean, I went back to shoot my regular shot, you know, and, uh, and that was basically it.